It's a pleasure to have you again, dear grade 12 students. Today's video is about the latest specifications of your test paper. So our objective here is to discuss the latest specifications of the final test. Time is one and a half hours. You will find questions under four categories. The vocabulary is for 17 points, grammar 11 points, reading 20 points, and writing is for 12 points. These are the 60 points of your test paper. Vocabulary and grammar are under the title of use of language from all units. Reading is either persuasive or argumentative, as in units 5 and 6. And the writing is just one letter, an application or a complaint letter, as it is found in unit 7. There will be three types of vocabulary questions. The first type, fill in the gaps with words from the list. It will be given five words, okay, and only four sentences. Please stop here for a minute, okay, and then let's check together. And let me think aloud in order to show you how to answer such a question, okay? Artificial intelligence has. This has is an auxiliary verb, exactly. So we need a past participle to form the present perfect. There is only one past participle here. Okay. Why don't you try a new sport to get rid of this something wrong or something bad in your life? It must be boredom, right? The kids were very, we want to describe the kids about the trip to their father's farm. To describe a noun, we need a an adjective right and there is only one adjective right here and a group of a group of people a group of officials said that internet addiction is damaging to teenagers must be a group of experts that's right okay one point each in the second part of vocabulary questions we are we deal with word formation it means we, we change the form of the given words between brackets into another. Why? In order to suit the meaning of the whole sentence. So use the words in brackets to form a word that fits in each gap. I'm going just to help you. Ali quit his job. Why? Because his boss made his life misery. We want to describe the word life. Life is a noun. To describe or modify a noun, we need exactly, we need an adjective. So this is a question. What's the adjective of the word misery? Here, Dana impressed the judges with her remark speaking skills. Again, we want to describe the speaking skills of Dana. We want an adjective. What's the adjective of remark? Here, try to think positive. Think is a verb. What part of speech do we use to modify or to describe a verb? Do we use a noun or adjective or adverb? Exactly an adverb. So what's the adverb of the word positive? Excessive exposed to the sun. Excessive is an adjective. We need to change this word exposed from a verb into exactly into a noun. Adjective, noun. What's the noun of expose? Please prepare your answers on a piece of paper and take this feedback. But please, please, spelling here must be correct. Okay? Expose, exposure, misery, miserable, remark, remarkable, positive, positively. Okay? For further practice, you've got these pages. Okay? Let's continue. We've talked about fill in the gaps and word formation. The third and last type of vocabulary questions is multiple choice questions. It will be given three questions, three points each. One type of them can be like this, about an idiom. Stop here, take your time to read. And what's the meaning of pulling one's leg? Uh, I think you've got it, right. It's joking, okay? 
In addition to an idiom, you can be given a question about an, a dictionary entry. You'll be given a word. This is its part of speech, its transcription or pronunciation. And this word has got four different meanings. The question is, based on the above entries, which meaning does the underlined word below, this one, refer to? Read the four entries or four meanings and then decide. Okay, need help? The player apologized to his fans for his post on Instagram. Post here, does it mean mail or job or piece of wood or metal or message written on a blog or social media? I think you've got it, it's very easy. Three points for this question. Okay, let's continue. Another type of MCQ or SR multiple choice questions can be about a preposition or just a general word Take your time to think. Okay, here you are the feedback. So the third and the last type of vocabulary can be either an idiom, dictionary entry, preposition, phrasal verbs, or just a general vocab. Okay. As for the grammar section, you will be uh, given three types of questions. Type number one, is to put the verbs in brackets into two plus infinitive or ing form. We'll be given two sentences, two verbs between brackets. And what is the correct form to use right here? He invited me. After the verb invite, do we use? He invited me to attend or attending his brother's wedding ceremony. This is the question. Salim insisted on. Insist on is followed by Two plus infinitive or ing for? I think it's very easy, right? This is the grammar of the second part of unit six. And for further practice, please go to grammar reference, pages 18 and 19. Okay, let's continue. The second type of grammar questions is reported speech, grammar of unit five. You'll be given three sentences, one point each. On a piece of paper, please write down your answers and let's check. I'll give you a left home. Okay, some of you may have written, my friend said that he would give me a left home. It sounds correct, while it's not correct at all because you have to use the words given to you between brackets. My friend offered to give me a left home and here Saleh boasted that he gave more money to the poor than I did. If someone has written Saleh posted about giving more money to the poor, it's also correct. Your creation is most welcome as long as the meaning is okay. Bring your copy box every day. This is an order from the teacher. So the teacher ordered me. So the verb order needs an object plus two plus infinitive. The teacher ordered me to bring my box every day. All details about changing sentences and questions into reported speech are found in grammar reference at the end of your book pages 14 via 17 okay the last type of grammar questions is sr specific response questions just two questions one about the modal verbs of unit six and eight and one about the passive voice grammar of unit seven but pay attention each one for three points okay please stop here for just a minute and think of the answer take this feedback you are not allowed means exactly you mustn't and this passive is about the past simple was broken is okay more details are here okay as for the reading you'll be given just one reading passage either persuasive or argumentative two SR questions, three points each, and three CR questions. Two of them are for six points each, and one is for two points. But because now we are short of time, next video, inshallah, we will discuss two reading passages with all types of reading questions. As for the writing, you will be given 
two letters to choose only one, either a letter of complaint or application for 12 points. And you already have two videos on your channel on the two types of writing. Okay. You will find more questions on Microsoft Teams. And thank you so much for watching this video.